Good day, dear students. Let's begin our next lecture. Today, we are going to speak about the anticipation in simultaneous interpreting. What does anticipation in simultaneous interpreting mean? Strange. Yes, anticipate. What does it mean? Maybe you guess the meaning, but what kind of relation does it have with simultaneous interpreting? Let's talk about it. It simply means that the interpreter says a word or a group of words before the speaker actually says them. Did you guess? Why is it anticipation is in simultaneous interpreting used? Why is it very important using anticipation, saying something before <coughs> the speaker? It means uh, especially to save the time, to prevent listeners from getting lost in conversation. Especially, <coughs> anticipation is used to save the time. There are several different strategies that an interpreter would use, which is not surprising if you think about it. So what kind of strategies should the interpreter use? Anticipation in simultaneous interpreting services is especially common between languages in which the norm Nor normal word order is not suitable. So, for example, English or French languages, word order is subject plus verb and object, whereas the German just is a subject plus object plus verb. So they have got different grammatical structure. And to solve this problem and not to pause until the end of the sentence, interpreter makes a hypothesis and he chooses neutral word in order to break the pause. This kind of technique was first discussed in Venice in 1978 in NATO Symposium on anticipation during interpretation, language interpretation and communication. Participants wanted to find the new ways of improving anticipation abilities in interpreters and they gave two main concepts of anticipation in simultaneous interpreting. So the first group of uh, uh, people universal have the universal concept and anticipation doesn't depend on, on they say doesn't depend on language pairs especially they say the verb was actually uh, that they were anticipating most and that's why they waited for the verb to listen and sometimes the um, interpreters make pause during their speech Then the bilateralist conception of anticipation in simultaneous interpreting are the following. They say language-specific phenomena and the verb does uh, have the special status. They said uh, the linguistic anticipation and uh, free willing interpretation. They say uh, the first depends on linguistics, second depends on the desire of interpreter or will, free willing of interpretation. So let's talk about two types of it. The first is related to passive knowledge of interpreter. Free willing interpretation refers to a strategy used by interpreter to verify. And uh, especially they may use some kind of grammatical structure or they may correct their mistakes and so on. And knowledge of, uh, in the second type is uh, just the knowledge of the interpreter. And that's why in the, it's very important to train for the interpretation have to anticipate properly and here students are learned or are taught how to anticipate during just simultaneous interpreting in particular case for interpreting for Asian, uh, Asian language let's see the examples so it's impossible to anticipate some languages for example simultaneous interpreting from the uh, Asian languages began later and uh, for example Chinese use fewer words than English for the same phrase and so Anticipation is not obvious here because Chinese uses fewer words comparing to English but the same meaning of the word. So tips for anticipating properly. Let's talk about how can the interpreters anticipate properly. First, gaining familiarity with subject matter, attending meetings, careful observation of speaker gestures, knowing specific terms and preparation and translation of speech delivers also available makes available the learners and this way remember change his or sometimes they may change suddenly their mind and when it's unexpectedly the speaker so some kind of change may happen and that's why be especially alert some, some unusual turn of phrase breaks through the debate that there may be some kind of debate and so on and so Uh, you should be ready 
uh, for anticipation as well as for differ different breakdown turns. Thank you very much for your attention. That was all for today. Thank you.